Welcome, old friends and new, to the Bring Your Own Grief Network and a special episode, Daily Inspirations. January 8th. In today's inspiration, our daily inspiration comes from Anne Grant. Anne McVicker Grant, actually, a Scottish poet and author who lived from 1775 to 1838 and is best known for her collection of mostly biographical poems, Memoirs of an American Lady, as well as her earlier works, Letters from the Mountains. She was a mother of 12, eight of whom survived to adulthood, and she provides us with the following words of moving forward in our grief journey. Grief is a normal and natural response to loss. It is originally an unlearned feeling process. Keeping grief inside increases your pain. Now, Anne Grant knew grief from loss, four children and a husband. She knew that grief is a natural response to the death of a loved one. I think we all do, but we fight it at times, don't we? The emotions don't seem to be part of our, our normal nature, our nature before the loss. Now, I'm not normally an angry person, someone who feels guilt, maybe remorse. I didn't go around feeling a sorrow after the loss I did, and it was unnatural. We have to understand that the emotions of grief, no matter how painful or, or even vile, are a natural response to our loss, but for most of us, unlearned. These are feelings we have either never felt before or maybe never felt at the levels that we do so deeply now. We need understanding and awareness to work through it instead of fighting it. When Anne writes that keeping grief inside increases the pain, she knew. She knew from her experience of loss. Those feelings must come out and will one way or another. The longer they stay inside, the more intense they become. If we do succeed in keeping them inside, they will only move back to our subconscious mind, that part of us that acts on our behalf without our conscious control or effort. And those painful, caustic emotions of anger, guilt, fear, confusion become who you are to yourself and to others. Grief is hard work. Face it with the support of others. So that's today's daily inspiration and my thoughts. But you know, as well as I do, we are all as unique as snowflakes and fingerprints, aren't we? You may well take the words differently and I ask, I welcome and would love to have you leave your unique understanding of the words we shared together in the comments section below this YouTube video. Please do. I welcome the conversation, the chance to start a dialogue and get to know the thoughts of my fellow grievers and maybe, maybe travel a little farther myself down the path of hope and healing. If you found value in this daily inspiration, please like it here on YouTube and share it with others. Share it with those you feel could use a hand to hold on to. And please subscribe to the BYOG Network YouTube channel. The more likes, shares, and subscribers we have, the easier it is for other bereaved souls to find help in their search. So thank you for spending this time of healing with me. No, I am so very sorry for your loss, as I know you are mine. I am Mark Lynn Kelly. May you find peace and purpose.